Phthalates are a family of compounds whose primary use is to soften vinyl plastic. They are colorless with little or no odor uh, and low volatility. Phthalates are used in a wide variety of, of products. They're used in uh, insulation for wire and cable to prevent fires, uh, in reflective roofing material to improve energy efficiency, and in life-saving medical devices like IV tubing and blood bags. No, phthalates are not used in recyclable water bottles. That's a different type of plastic. Yes, phthalates are safe because they have been reviewed by the U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, the Cosmetic Ingredient Review Board, and the European Chemicals Bureau. There is a large body of scientific information and a number of government reviews that give phthalate manufacturers confidence that their products can be used safely. This, these products have been extensively tested for, health, for their potential health effects, including potential effects on reproduction and development. There's also a lot we know about exposure to phthalates. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention uh, data tells us that exposures to phthalates are well below the safety levels established by the federal government. Dr. Shana Swan first published her results in 2005, suggesting that phthalate exposure adversely affected the reproductive development in male infants following exposure of the mother to phthalates during pregnancy. We do not know if the effects that Dr. Swan observed are outside the normal range of variability or what the biological significance of the, those effects are. It has been difficult to assess the significance of uh, Dr. Swan's study because she has declined to share her data, so it's been difficult to verify her methods. What we do know is that studies in primates have failed to find a treatment-related effect uh, on male reproductive development despite exposure to high levels of phthalates. Dr. Swan has been clear to indicate that no adverse health effects were observed in the study. We don't know if the variability in physical measurements that she reported is abnormal, nor do we know what the biological significance of those measurements might be. When you look at all of the science on phthalates, at the body of evidence, there is no scientific reason to remove phthalates from products. Significantly, no causal relationship between phthalate exposure and human health effects has ever been established. Rapid advances in science and technology have enabled us to detect trace concentrations of, of chemicals in humans. Those advances have exceeded our ability to understand the biological significance. What's important to remember is that the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention tells us that the mere presence of, a, of a low levels of a chemical does not mean it causes harm. It is possible that you may find low trace levels of phthalates in food because of the manufacturing or packaging process. But what's important to remember is that phthalate levels are extremely low, and that phthalates are rapidly metabolized and eliminated from the body. The important thing to understand is that phthalates do not build up in the body. They are rapidly metabolized within minutes and eliminated. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, in fact, the exposure, levels of exposure to phthalates are very low up to a thousand times below the levels determined to be safe. That's just not the case. Research has not found the effects to be magnified when considering exposure to multiple phthalates. A recent analysis of cumulative ex of exposure to six phthalates found the levels to still be well within the margins of safety. The precautionary principle is generally applied in the absence of scientific information. That is not the case with phthalates. They are extremely well studied and have a long history of safe use.